Dive with us into a world of exclusivity. The limited diving watch U50, made of German submarine steel with a mother-of-pearl dial. Zin Spezialuhren is celebrating its 60th anniversary. To present our latest innovations in our anniversary year, we're welcoming a special guest who's been a follower of our brand for decades, even when facing sports challenges at minus 40 degrees in Canada's Yukon Territory. He says about himself that he's fascinated by anything with gears. Watches, bicycles, e-bikes, motorcycles, cars and motorhomes. So in other words, toys for big boys. Technology is in his blood. His career began at Porsche. Later, he packaged this passion in expert terminology. As a hired journalist for daily papers at first, the Motor Press in Stuttgart and for the DPA. For 20 years, he's been writing and photographing freelance for, among others, the German wristwatch trade journal Armband Uhren and the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. He has a personal foible for chronographs and technical innovations. His reports are authentic and hands-on because he always writes about his own experiences with the product. That's why we appreciate him so much and are thrilled to meet up again with Martin Heusermann. U50. We have given the U50 a mother-of-pearl dial and limited it to 500. There's a lot of ocean in there, and I mean that in the true sense of the term. Indeed, I'll show you here when you shine a light on the watch. This corresponds to light at night, so the watch lights up even though it has black hands and black indices. It all lights up at night. Only the mother of pearl doesn't. Not as bright, however, as on a watch with white indices. It's a bit flat for a U. Yes, it is. It's the one with only 50 bar, only 500 metres diving depth. That's why we were able to make it flatter. You don't get that deep in any swimming pool on Earth. The watch is made of German submarine steel. It's tegmented here for this watch and given a black hard coating. But with a classic diver's bezel. The classic captive diver's bezel can only turn it to the left. And it's limited to how many? 500. You'll not long have many of those 500. German submarine steel. I brought along something for you. <laughs> this is for the case. You know the advantages of German submarine steel. That it doesn't rust. Exactly. It doesn't rust in salt water and is particularly resistant to salt water. It is, of course, in any case, fully sufficient in terms of stability, even better than most stainless steels. It allows itself to be easily tegmented, meaning surface hardened. This is the blank for the crown because in this watch we have really made everything out of German submarine steel in the case. And it's actually milled out of that entire piece of material there. It's really made of the complete material. Good, of course, it's separated off, but from the full piece of material, yes. There's no other way to do it. And then we have to purchase several tons of it so that we can get it in the proper size. And where do you manufacture the case? That is surely not easy to process. We have a case manufacturer in the town of Glashütte in Saxony in the famous and well-known glass hutter. Almost 40 people work for us there. They manufacture all our technologically demanding cases. How can I imagine that with this German submarine steel? There aren't any submarines, old submarines lying around getting scrapped. Well, there are now a few submarines docked at the port of Hamburg with holes in them punched out by us. <laughs> so... For submarines themselves, submarine steel has the following advantages. It is very ductile, meaning it does not tear when deformed, and it is non-magnetic. It has a highly non-magnetic quality to it, and this means that a submarine doesn't face the danger of orienting itself north to south. Normal steel is more magnetizable, and this one isn't. For the watch, it also has important advantages too in not being magnetizable. This watch is also certified by the successor company to the Germanic Lloyd in Hamburg. 
and that means certified in accordance with European diving equipment standards and for pressure resistance. Pressure resistance is actually 25% above the nominal pressure, so if we say here 50 bar, which is 500 meters, then they test it at 625 meters, and that means for two hours. To date, we are the only company that has their diving watches tested based on these two norms. And therefore, it truly is, even though it presents itself as quite stylish, a real instrument. The watch is available with two, uh, three strap options. Here, you are holding the watch in your hand with a silicone strap. A silicone strap is comfortable to wear and is not as heavy as a solid bracelet. In spite of this, we will probably sell the solid bracelet the most. The customer will probably like that most often. It's also available with a leather strap if you like that too. Sure, although I really don't see the point in having a diving watch with a leather strap, and my favourite would definitely be the silicon strap. But I'm prejudiced here because, myself, I have two watches with silicon straps and really appreciate them. I can understand, yes, because I also usually wear a watch with a silicone strap. Oh, and if I were introducing the watch in a journal, in the armband uhren, for example, I'd already have the suitable headline. It would be something like, So, you want to make some waves? And here, the most important features of the U50S Mother of Pearl S at a glance. The diving watch made of German submarine steel with a mother of pearl dial, limited to 500. Made of high strength seawater resistant German submarine steel with black hard coating on a tegument technology base. Tested in accordance with European diving equipment standards and certified by DNV GL. Like all U50s, waterproof and pressure resistant to 500 meters, equivalent to 50 bars, certified by DNV GL. <laughs>